Cookie Channel, how, how you doing? Get them hours, baby. I'm, try, I'm trying to get a thousand subs on it. I got things to say since Joe Biden in the White House. Yes. But you know the whole thing, think about it, my brother, my sisters, is this. Where there's Joe Biden, there's Obama. And that girl, that vice president says she's the first black woman. She ain't black. You know, she mixed. She's a squirrel. <laughs> I've been watching some more, you know, comedy. But I am so happy. I lost 10 pounds. I get my did my hair with the flat irons and I feel sexy. Hell. So guess what? Cheers, y'all. It's my party and I can do what the fuck I want in my house. You don't like what I got on and get the hell out. Somebody wants to book the tits up, girl. I'm sorry, y'all. I am respectful like this. Y'all trying to get them hours. 
Send me some subs over here, honey. I need some subs. I need 1,000 subs. You working hard, yes. When we getting our, our... I'm ready, honey. I'm going to cook now. See it. You tell me when I'm there. Really. Let me put my tits up, honey. <laughs> Lord, I know my tits. Lord, I put my t-shirt. Oh! I see you, honey. You can work me tonight at your finest one. I'm drinking me some wine, some shorty neck. You're working hard. Oh, I seen that one. I'm ready, honey. I'm fine. I'm finna send you. What? I'm finna send you. What? I can't see three right now. Three cells. Thank you, darling. I love you. You know, I'm gonna get you back. Let me enjoy me my wine. I made an A on my uh, chicken over just this. So I'm just happy. It was now officially his first day on the job. President Joe Biden. Oh, money, more money, more money, more jobs. Thank you, Lord. Nobody ever said that. Cheers. Oh, so goddamn challenging. All of the U.S. have convinced to wear the mask 100 days. You people are, thank God they got to wear an NBC mask for 34 years. Also, leading a team chosen by the CDC to come up with forecasts and models to support states with their decision making on the coronavirus. One of the things that we saw months ago is that states that had clear, consistent messaging on uses of face coverings seemed to be doing better than ones that were not. And we really wanted to better understand that. A recent report from AARP lists 37 states, including North and South Carolina, that already require people to wear some kind of face covering, though current mandates vary by state. Here's Dr. Swan on the impact of consistency. If we have clear, consistent leadership on masks and face coverings, and we've seen a lot of stores start to require them, then we will get higher use of that, which can prevent infections. President Biden's plan is outlined on WhiteHouse.gov. Ask everyone to wear a mask when they're not around people in their household. You too. Then call every state's governor to make it mandatory. Also ask local. Can't a bitch who fucking racist fuck say the fuck with my jumper. These sweet motherfuckers kiss my ass. Hey, okay, if you're next to you, racist and the motherfuckers, I don't do it. Racist goddamn crap. Where's my girl at? Beautiful, beautiful. 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 I said, that'll get us for a second. Anyway, I don't need to see people in my ass. Who did it? I was about to YouTube me tonight. God damn, I need a panel or something. There go my girl. God damn, see you. That damn fool. Yeah, I Hey, how y'all doing? Uh-oh, I forgot my mic. No, hell, you won't. Oh. That loud shit. She got an intro on the channel. And be with a view. She got stuff in the mind real good. Like, tell me something about it. I'm telling you, I'm supposed to say a little bit.
I can't believe with all these fancy mics and stuff I have that this is actually the best sounding one. Well, at least to me on my playbacks. Mm -hmm. So I'm working on my planner book. And then I wanted to chat. I wrote some notes. I wanted to talk about the um, the situation that we had today. Hi, Wes Haven. How you doing, baby? Hey, thank you for sharing. I greatly appreciate that. Thank you. Um, so uh, we all know that uh, uh, President President Biden was sworn in today, and also. Vice President um, Harris, Kamala, Kamala, I'm sorry, Kamala, sworn in. Hold on, hold on. I'm not going to sneeze. Uh, we're, we're sworn in today, and actually, I was watching that, kind of sneak, sneak watching it on my um, um, iPad. Mm. I work around some people right now. I don't know. I'm gonna say this. They actually they look, they, they, they look like they could have been part of that. Group. Oh, damn. <laughs> well, well, I'm very strange as fuck, yo. No, That's my not. girl. I love her. Yeah, she's telling the truth. She's working in Washington, D.C., so, guys. I was she's watching. I love her. On my iPad. I had my door closed, but I still had my iPad kind of popped to the side. Because I was working on some payroll stuff. Hi, William Carruthers. How are you doing? Working on some payroll stuff, end of the year stuff. And this stuff, like this, this calendar stuff, is very relaxing to me. <laughs> it really is. This is a hot food zone I got from a Christmas. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I got a beautiful Y'all playing all my, my people's uh, playlists. If you want your uh, channel dropped and you want me to share your link, please do so. You guys, my breasts are up. Somebody sent me to my put your breast up. Like shit, dude. That look good. Fuck you. <laughs> but I did put them up. So you <laughs> thank you, baby. I love you so much, fine as wine. And let me know when you're ready to cook, baby. We have a cook off. You wanna bake, wanna fry, wanna dice, you wanna cut up, whatever you want to do, honey. I'm a I got you. Let me know when. Much love. So um I wanted to talk, okay, so yeah, so the weather was good today in D.C. It was a little bit of snow earlier in the morning um, when the um, when the uh, situation occurred. We had a little bit of light snow. It was kind of like, uh, I like me like that, damn it. Rain, <laughs> rain, snow. It was cold enough for it to freeze, but, you know. Hi, James. How are you? Um, Happy then, inauguration day. I hope you're having a blessed evening, guys. Thank you for stopping by. Much love. Love you so much. I'm just uh, trying to listen to my girl, A View of the View. She works at DC and she was talking about inaugurations and stuff up there. So I'm trying to hear that. You guys, I can see you guys from over here. So I'm going to sit down for a minute, okay? Let me put, there we go. Now that's much. I'm going to change this shirt, y'all. Yeah. 
Oh, Cheers, kind of y'all. Thank you guys for supporting me. Because, you know, Love you so much. I'm going to get back to the chat in just a minute. Latino. And, um, well, Latino, he did Eddie Galero. Yes, baby, yes. Um, I'm black and Espanol. Then I didn't see the other performers that were there. Mm -hmm. Well, they were there. Um, but I did see uh, Dr. Biden's outfit. Dr. Biden's um, He looked nice today. His wife. Her outfit was look nice. stunning. It was very graceful. Oh, I mean, Bill Clinton looked uh, wonderful. Was I love Bill Clinton. I love it. And it was appropriate of a woman uh, of a particular age, like I am. It was very. Yeah, you must it be wasn't a little dirty. Say, yeah. It wasn't like anything that they would wear. Like How old is she? What's the lady over in England? The Queen of England. It wasn't anything like that. Queen Elizabeth? God damn. Man, 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 man. Man. It was really nice. And then, of course, Michelle Obama. I got it. Came out. But I don't know why people say they didn't like her. I don't even know what the hell they did. Because I was black. Her makeup was on point. Of course, now. No, yeah, they wouldn't have been saying I had shit on my lipstick and motion. Goddamn hair dress and I have. She's in a fucking. Oh, she ugly. That's one ugly sister. I don't give a fuck what the body says. She looks like a man. Michelle Obama. Too much money, goddamn! He don't give a fuck. He'll come up with something else. Somehow he gonna get back in that guy's president. He's believing. I can't wait because I want me another goddamn seven chick. I love Donald Trump. I wish a motherfucker. That's the smartest motherfucker I know. Be a billionaire, Trump towels. Oh, he's not dead. Told over to go to hell, and she need it. Over there, remember, goddamn president Donald Trump is gonna beat her ass. He fuck over too. That's why she got them millions in that goddamn open window show. She was fat as fuck. And they see, I know that shit. My mama told me that shit. Shit, my mama used to be a goddamn black person. She don't have a fucking time. And a goddamn lawyer. Uh -uh. So, um, now let somebody put something really cool. Yeah. Yeah, he is history, but he thinks he's going to have a chance to run. I actually thought this is how horrible I am. I actually thought he was going to. Lock himself up into the Oval Office and shoot himself in the head. I did too, and I was yeah, playing. Like, he did. I didn't want to see that. I love Donald Trump. I'm he sure don't president he to give me a goddamn stupid shit. I was a motherfucker. Who I love Donald Trump? I, mean, I like Joe Biden too. Just, just, That's why I didn't vote. I know I was gonna like all of them, 
My damn job is to be a soldier, not be a politician. I love everybody. You got to love everybody to go to heaven, y'all. You got to pray for the president. You got to pray for the president. That's the hardest damn job in the world. Y'all motherfuckers go goddamn crazy over COVID-19. Imagine what these presidents and all of them going through. They got to cover up their lies and their bullshit. But they didn't come out their mama ass. I'm just telling you what's on it, y'all. I'm gonna give you one thousand jobs. Y'all know I've been in the boots too damn long, and I retired today. My hair is down, and I wear what I want to wear because I look good as fuck from forty nine. Oh, take a step. I'm gonna do a forty nine hashtag challenge with your grandchildren. <laughs> Mom, I'm old as dirt, but I look good though. That wine got me feeling some type of way. Feeling good though. Love you. Love all of y'all. Y'all better smash that button. Give me a thumbs up. If I shut up, I promise you give me a thumbs one thumbs up, I shut up. What a God, bro. Give me a thumbs up, I shut up. I think y'all want me to talk. So I'm gonna hush anyway. <laughs> Love you though. I'm just trying to make y'all laugh, guys. This is a long hard day for everybody. Time to let your hair down, get some sleep. Do what you want to do. Just be happy. It's a good day for America. Damn, you know, it's good. Well, y'all love them do then. I don't love them do. Everybody want to try. I don't give a damn who they are. Everybody they look good. All everybody look good. Did nobody get hurt, baby? That's kind of shit I like. Did nobody get hurt. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. So, um, if he, if um, if he was, if well, his health is looks like it's pretty good. So hopefully he'll be able to. Y'all know Tom Hanks? Um, and Aaron, COVID-19. Yeah. He look good as yeah, fuck. He must have that same shit Donald Trump too. That's why um, I say, boy, you well, know, money uh, buy some shit. Who shit walk? Money talk. You got money, you got goddamn money, baby. Dollar, dollar, dollar bill, yo. Yeah. That's why I want one of these goddamn uh, <laughs> What you and call that shit again? Mega Millions. I got my ticket. Oh, damn. I want to go live stream. I want to go live stream. Well, maybe next time. I'm going to get a lot of scratch for y'all. I'm going to buy me a good truck. And I'm going to cook. That's going to be my Jimmy business. Carter. I love him. Breakfast. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I'm not loving like, you know. Place old, like we did in the Army. I was a good truck out there early in the morning. I won't be one of them motherfuckers. His beliefs. I wonder how much it costs to buy one of them good trucks, y'all. Anybody know? I'll look it up, though, because I am really sick. My grandmother is 87. Find his wine. I'm going to give me a good yes. truck. You do your boy, I'm going to go old school. Just took sausages and cheese and um, yeah, uh, sad meat sandwiches, and cook cheese and shit and like that. Oh, my little girl. I'm going to make some money. Make a big old pot of coffee. Yeah, yeah, I know how to make that Starbucks shit, man. Well, I damn should have drank that turpentine in the army for 34 years. You got to learn how to make your own shit, man. They call it a muck book. That's where they get it from, muck book. Y'all see the hashtag muck book? They get that shit from a soldier. God damn. And my reason ain't shit. Don't nobody eat that shit, boy. You eat an MRE, them motherfuckers dehydrate you like a motherfucker. I wouldn't give nobody an MRE. It's like them giving my death sentence. My children would eat that damn shit. And then, so yeah, Casey was on severe lockdown. I have a C ration, bro. We don't green ass eggs, bro. Well, I got some stories. I may even make me a sequel called Soldier Soldier Story. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to make me a channel. Soldier Story. I'm going to say every damn thing I know in the military. I can do it. I'm retired, y'all. I ain't going to shit back. I did not go through all that stuff. Oh my God, the traffic, the light. I'm going to make I some of my goddamn money. To go all my goddamn money. money. To go all my time to be with my family. Hell yeah, I'm going to tell everybody. I know about Air 51. Mm -hmm. Who want to know about Air 51? It's, like, it's a lie. <laughs> Somebody made a lie about Air 51. I ain't shit out there about nothing. But shelters. That in World War II, they built stone shelters, bomb shelters. Everybody talking about some goddamn UFOs. The devil is a lot. You said, yeah, boy, you better go check your ass in the psychiatrist's out. She said whatever it was that she had to say, and then she also. The rest is not telling them that. I'm really enjoying it. I'm talking for that shit too, dude. That's why you want to go out that goddamn way. He was going to kill himself if somebody came and saved him. Trust me. Somebody told me that. They were going to the White House. Made my goddamn soul. That's why he going when he was suicidal. Mm -hmm. He was suicidal no more. But they took his motherfucking ass to Walter Reed. Yeah, he's Catholic. Donald oh, Trump by pulled in the motherfucker. He's a narcissist. So everybody knows it. Look at his goddamn hair. They were kind of. 
But I love them. He gave me some money. I ain't mad at him. They weren't just something that somebody wrote for. Yeah, gone really crazy. Uh, walk on. Catholic I know that firsthand. You know, you know what I mean? It was, that's all I'm gonna say about that. Uh, yeah, so it was very, it was a very uh, historical moment today. Yeah, and I know they're going to be playing it. I just pray, thank God, that nobody got hurt. Amen. Sure some people have God have the glory. Thank you, Jesus. You can watch it, uh, regardless if you like the party or not. It was history. You make you think, honey. Like you make you think, I got to do. She more uh, dominant by her shit, though. intentions and especially now it's easy to you know if you do a little bit it's gonna seem like a lot because people are hurting right now. I'm gonna have a panel on Vanderbilt mm -hmm. with y'all so Hell yes so supposedly he's with. supposed to be doing all of these bills add into the stimulus and Where then add into the unemployment and then with something else in the show. So what top ten things he's supposed to be kicking butt the first 10 days of office or something like that. I saw somebody's video and they were talking about that. Oh, and before Trump left, he gave pardons to a lot of people. He denied some pardons to people. I guess he pardoned a little Wayne. I don't remember yeah, that. I don't remember he was in the news or something. But I didn't know he was in jail. Was he in jail? No, he got Trump. And he pardoned somebody else. I don't know. And then one other person, I guess, was in the same kind of music industry. He did not pardon. And that person was prepared to be pardoned. Uh -huh. So I don't know about pardoning or anything. I really wasn't really interested in that. They always do that. I know it was like over 100 some people. Allegedly, they said that some people had sent money in to be pardoned. And um, well, they have always said that every year when that happens. Especially when it's going to. Okay, Joy, but you have, you have a blessed evening, evening too, Mr. Cantes. Thank you for stopping by. Much love. So, if anybody else in the chat, say something to me now. No, I love you guys all. I love you so much. Now, somebody was saying he should pardon himself. I don't know if he can do that. Yes, he can. I don't know, but I do know that they are still going to go forward with the impeachment process or at least attempt for it. Because he's going to be here. He did. 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 He Pension or whatever it is, and then, then, uh, then of course you get the grand burial and everything. I just, I, 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 that man has disrespected the office. Disrespected. Yes, 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 yes. been very disrespectful. I hope they do continue with the impeachment process, and so that he's he not impeached. He's out of office. It's called criminal charges, darling. But I have got good and bad news for you. They can't and fuck with Donald Trump. He's out of office. All the evil stuff that he did, I just, I just. They God judge him. You can't do that. You're not God's agent. I love your views, though. Yeah. But they can't do it. They don't have to do it. So we got too much money, honey. So anyway, so this is. Donald Trump's over to get his own motherfucking money. It's all messed up now. They got some Donald Trump money. So I think we have a third. Oh, so this is my Donald Trump money. So this is a month of February. Okay, we'll and, you know, it's Black History month. and it's ironic. We get February for Black History Month. You know so that's the shortest month of the year. 
Neither neither neither. 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 Neither neither was supposed to be on this day on the 15th. Yes. People were so angry. I don't know if you all remember this. Y'all you know, probably weren't even born. They did not want him uh, to be uh, celebrated on the 15th because it would have been appropriate because it is Black History Month to have him there. But they were saying because he was not a president that he could not be on there with all the other presidents. Um, and they didn't like that. So that's what I gave. Us, um, uh, January, the holiday, the day that we just got the floating holiday. They call it the no, it's 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 really, some companies don't want it. Um, some companies don't want it. They get a beta the floating holiday. 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 You're wrong. 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 you are some of us sold our own goddamn business while we were so far. We were fine. The white man won't come get us like that. No, there was some goddamn motherfuckers from another tribe. Even black slaves had black slaves. Don't give me that shit. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think the impeachment will take all that away. I think, yes, it will. Uh huh. Hi, Hallelujah. How you doing, baby? Hallelujah. Hi, Bobby Blues. How you doing? Thank you for coming in. Uh huh. I didn't be more pleasant so, like that. I think Silly the thing boys. Is Y'all, I'm practicing my alto and my outro because I'm going to put it together. So I'm so lit. Yeah. Tell us, I got to find Tell us so lit, guys. Yeah, Charles Gibbs is a famous artist. Wow. And he has lots. Of well, honey, I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you. Let me tell you one thing. John Brown wasn't black. He was white. If it wasn't for him, Matt Turner would have said nobody free shot. No goddamn body. In Virginia, why you know Spanish trade? We come over here on that shit called almost son. You need to start there. Slave trade is the secret to all peace. This is his famous. Yeah, white people that come get us, we got ourselves. Yeah, I want people put on us on that goddamn boat. White man ain't do shit. We did that shit down goddamn self. Yeah, and we're never supposed to be a slave to nobody. White men come over there. We knock like his goddamn ass so, on the cigarette. Um, God the damn. They can tell a nigga anything then. Um, they had a store that sold his artwork. And you can get it framed and they can buy the frame. It framed and everything. So I'm going like, to kick some nozzle on these things tonight. Like, for $200. Print and frame. Yeah, and it'll be huge. Yeah. Um, and it's not going to be like that. It's 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 Exactly. We all got to answer something about you. Yeah. Anyway, so I, I had a calendar. Here, but I was I'm sorry, I done lost everybody in my damn shit. Oh, God, I'm going to shoot. I need to shoot. I don't think I'm going to drop them. I'm just chilling. Feeling good. My alcohol level is like zero. And I'm drinking wine, guys. I am so fucked up. I'm fucking lit, bro. <laughs> not that lit, not be lazy. Like, so, I just need to be quiet. I use that and I use some of these other speakers. I'm not a good drinker, guys. I so, I mean, it's now. not fancy. And I know it's a little bit of a problem. I don't have a headache, you know. I just go home. So, at least I blinked out my calendar for the month. And I know you can't see it very well. But anyway, I took some pictures from, from the old calendar. Yes, yes. And actually, this calendar like be that I cut it from, um, I think it was... 2017 calendar. I love your video. So I just cut some of the little pages and stuff that he had on there. Yeah. Yeah. That's cute. I always start off with my planner and and then drop off. Well, see, I'm going to try to do different, Bobby. I I am because I never really. I mean, I always say I'm going to do. I never blinked it out like this. So I mean, find this one. What the hell are you doing? Like that boy doesn't know how to cook it. You don't know who he's fucking with. I am sure for her. I'm going to do it in January. And I'm starting to work from now. I'm thinking about what am I going to do for Is March. anybody going to say anything to me? Hello, I love y'all. In March. I'm ready to talk. I ain't got nobody to talk to. I'm about to shut you down. On the 18th. Oh, my God. 
Y aún se viene a ir a ir a ir a ir
Oh, why did you say put a like on the shit? Put a like. Yes, I like it. Oh, Jesus Christ, the freak is. Yes. Yeah. It was a very well done inauguration, highlighted by a you strong too. and assuring debut for our new commander in chief. Joe Biden gave a great speech. Like a better year. Congratulations, Chief. We all got positions in life. It's up to us, but we want to have. That's the way of life. 4,000 hours had. Oh, damn, I need to watch this shit. These 30 YouTube channels are beyond excited, and you think, this is it. I'll be able to put up a couple videos, and then I'll eventually get monetized, right? And then you start to quickly realize that you've been posting video after video after video, Hardly anybody's seeing it, and you have to actually meet YouTube's new criteria of reaching 4,000 hours of watch time, getting minimum of 1,000 subscribers within the past 12 months to actually be eligible to apply to be monetized. So what do you do at this point? Do you panic and throw in the towel? Do you become a quitter and say, this is not meant for me, it is too hard to reach this criteria? Or do you come up with a solid strategy on how you can get those watch hours and subscribers back? Hey guys, my name is Haley and I teach influencers how to grow on social media and monetize their platform. In today's video, I'll be teaching you my number one strategy for how you can reach that minimum threshold the fastest. And in fact, it's this exact hack that I use on my brand new channel, the one that you're watching right now, that has allowed me to get 4,000 watch hours within just posting a couple of videos. Don't forget to subscribe down below. Like this video if you can get value from it. I put out new videos every single week on how to grow your platform and actually make a literal living from social media. Just a side note before we get into it, if you guys are interested, I have a free YouTube success workbook that you guys can download below. I share the exact steps that I have taken to grow my main channel to over 170,000 subscribers, making a full-time multi-six-figure income. And it's a great way to help narrow your channel niche to help get you on the right foot with the best possible chance of growing on YouTube. First off, I need you guys to know that 4,000 hours of watch time is not a lot. All you have to do is strike gold with the YouTube algorithm just one time and you will far surpass that threshold. So I promise you guys there's hope for you, but you have to be strategic and listen and mimic all of the things that I'm about to tell you in this video. Step two is actually mimicking what is already working for other channels. A lot of people start their YouTube channels, they assume that they know what's best for their niche, or they only produce content that they feel passionate about, or they create random videos that have already been done a million times over, like Day in the Life of a Blake morning routine of a blink and those videos are already too saturated to break through unless you already have a huge social media following on another platform which wouldn't that be nice but i'm sure a lot of us don't or you have some crazy breakthrough angle and you're able to be noticed amongst the crowd but for most of us we have to become a little bit more strategic when planning out our content and think about it from a different angle not to mention in reality new creators aren't doing the number one thing that actually lends to watch time on YouTube's algorithm. They're not playing to the algorithm, they're only playing to what they feel like is best or what they would personally want to watch. But you have to view your content strategy really objectively to play to what the algorithm wants to see. YouTube really doesn't care what you know best or what you are most passionate about. They really only care about what keeps people on their platform. Hence why they reward creators with watch time. So what do you do? Find out what's working for other successful creators in your niche and model their success. I want to mention that I feel like sometimes I say this and a lot of new creators are like, but I don't want to do things that are trending. I don't want to do, you know, video topics that are going viral. This is just what you have to do to get started. Now, I do want to mention and caution you guys that it's only after you've gained momentum on your channel. It's only after the YouTube algorithm already recognizes your channel and slots it into a niche that you can start creating and experimenting with new types of content and new video styles. But right now, we don't have time to play around with concepts or theories. We want the fastest, surefire way to growth. And that means we have to base all of our strategy off of what is already working and more importantly, off of numbers. Modeling after other people's viral videos and doing a similar video that's already worked for them, but putting your own spin on it is the fastest way to grow. And honestly, it's almost guaranteed growth. 
growth if you do it right. First thing I want you guys to do is go to the YouTube search tab. Then I want you to type out a certain keyword or phrase that relates to the video idea that you're interested in doing or that is a topic that is currently trending in your niche. Select one of those phrases that YouTube suggests to you. Go to the filter button and filter it to the view count in the last month. To select the best channel to model after, find channels where the view count on that particular video is more than their subscriber count. I know, it seems such a no-brainer, right? Just look at the videos that smaller channels are doing that are blowing up. Now, although I say this, a word of caution is that you can't just make the same video identically and expect to get the same results. And why is that? Why can't you just find a smaller creator, mimic their video or copy essentially in your own style and expect the same results? Let me explain. Your video actually needs to stand out and be so much better than that video that's already ranked because that potential new subscriber would much rather click on a video that already has a lot of views and has garnered a lot of attraction over your tiny little video with five views, right? People do look at view count on YouTube, obviously newsflash. Um, so you have to actually make your new video better and more unique. So how do we do this? I know it sounds daunting, but I've done it time and time again, over hundreds of videos on my main channel, which has helped me go viral several times. So let me explain exactly how you can make your video stand out and be unique amongst the rest. The first thing I want you guys to do is pay attention to the thumbnails that are already ranked for your search term. So now that we have discovered a potential phrase for your title or a video topic idea, I want you guys to look at the top of the search results and really analyze the thumbnails and the titles. So many times new creators just like totally blank out. They create their video, they mimic another person's video, and they wonder why they're not getting the same view count or they're not getting the same results as someone that went viral previously. And a lot of times it's because they don't spend enough time on their title and their thumbnail. No one's even gonna watch your video if your thumbnail is subpar. Not to mention, if you are trying to compete against those top performing right. videos, your thumbnail needs to be so bomb that new people who see that you're a brand new channel click on your video over all of the other videos that have more views than you. So you really need to work hard, especially in those couple initial months and those first few videos to have the best thumbnail as possible. So I want you guys to look at those top performing thumbnails. What do they all have in common? Are they all using really big, bold, black fonts? Are they using no fonts? Are they bright and white? Do they have a lot of vivid colors? What exactly are in these thumbnails that are contributing to them ranking higher than the rest? And more importantly, how can you create a thumbnail that is more clickable than the ones that are already ranked? Like I said, a lot of times my students will try this exact method. I will look at their video and realize their thumbnail is terrible. It does not at all stack up to the top 10 thumbnails for that exact search term. So make sure that you spend as much time working and crafting and editing and positioning your thumbnail as you do actually scripting your content. Now I know you're thinking, why would I spend an hour on my thumbnail? You absolutely need to spend at least an hour thinking and like premeditating your thumbnail just because no one will even watch your content if they don't get past the thumbnail. So it's almost like the thumbnail is of a higher importance than your actual video content in a sense, just because no one's even gonna watch your video, it doesn't even have a chance if your thumbnail is not easily enticing and is not clickable in the first place. Let me give you guys a concrete and real life example just so you guys can see what I mean and maybe you learn more visually like I do. So imagine somebody was in the cooking niche and they did their due diligence, they did their research, they combed through all of the channels that were smaller that were getting viral videos and they found that a common theme was how to cook eggs. Now, obviously, this isn't literally something you should do. I am assuming that how to cook eggs is oversaturated and it's been done a million different times. But for some reason, how to cook eggs works for them. And so they look at the top 10 thumbnails for that search term and they see an aerial shot of the person or the chef, the person at home, cooking eggs. So they think, okay, I will do an aerial shot too where the camera is up here, taking a picture of my hands working with the eggs or plating the eggs. So you create your video, you spend a lot of time mimicking the videos that already have gone viral, that already have success. You put your video up, nobody watches it, 
And Haley over here looks at your video. I look at your content. And although you have a aerial shot for the thumbnail, the top performing thumbnails for that search term are totally different. Yours is dark, it's dull, it's boring. The other ones have vibrant colors on it. The text is bold. Um, the eggs look very, you know, enticing. So your thumbnail, although it's similar, it does not at all compete. So really take your thumbnail seriously when you are doing the mimicking method. Um, just because you have to actually get past the fact that people are not going to click on your video over someone else's video that, that has a lot of views. So the only way that you have a chance is to make a baller thumbnail. So another really quick tip hey guys, sorry, guys, the the hack is that you shouldn't necessarily put the you, Does anybody want to talk to me? She's definitely like telling us. Yes, she is, fine as one. Well. You're, you're there, huh? Thumbnail. And I'm still drinking wine. You want to go live and have a panel with me? I would love to with anybody on board. Anyway, just something to think about. Anybody want to uh, have a panel? Invite me on your stream yard or whatever you guys are using. So, but this is a uh, two buddy, and that's what I do. I'm sitting back looking at, at what I can do to make my channel better. So, if you guys want a free copy of Two Buddy to help your channel, I promise you, I'll give you one free. I'll send a link to you. Hi, James uh, Academies. Love you so much. Doing great. Have blessed even. I think I'm good. That's one. Stacy, what you watching? Oh, I'm watching uh, Two Buddy. Two Buddy. And that's how I'm doing tonight. I'm looking at channels. I'm gonna be up 24 hours because I'm trying to get watch hours. And um, guys, let me tell you something. You can listen to her, but listen to me. All right. My need. I don't work for YouTube. I work for Two Buddy. I can get you a free thing to make your uh, channel so much better. If you want to try it out, put a one in the chat. I'll send it to you. The link. And uh, uh, I partnered with them. They sponsored me. And the second thing, if you want to get more watch time hours, go to your playlist, clear it up, go to Incognito, go back in, sign back into your Google. Go to YouTube, clear out your, play your playlist, do many playlists as you can, play your channel, and watch your watch hours grow. Now, anybody who's a YouTuber like me, I've been to a YouTuber since 2009. I won't tell you nothing else, but that one right there costs a lot of people $500. From me alone. So don't think that I'm here to just squash your dreams to just, you know, only make content about things that are going viral or things that people are searching for. Eventually, you can talk about topics that are really only of interest to you because at that point, you'll have a mass and audience that likes you for you, right? So you're able to talk about anything that you want in your niche, but you need to have the audience first. The last thing I wanted to leave you guys with in this video is honestly, in my opinion, the most important thing to actually getting monetized around your YouTube channel is to think about it in a different way. So I say this for the last because it's a little bit more fluffy. It's not a step-by-step -step and concrete. People need to shift their mindset when it comes to making money on YouTube. I always advise my students that they should never play a victim to the YouTube algorithm. And what I mean by that is playing victim just means sitting back, waiting for things to happen to you and not taking any responsibility or ownership for the things that you actually want in life. So in this case, you can get monetized today if you think about it strategically and if you prioritize monetization. If you choose to wait around to, you know, get blessed by the YouTube God and by waiting for Google AdSense to be turned on, waiting for sponsors to just contact you, I promise you I have done it that way and I've not done it that way and it's going to take so much longer than you would like to get monetized. So there are so many other ways that you can get started with monetization rather than waiting for like the pennies that YouTube AdSense pays to be turned on for your channel. So what can you guys do right now instead of getting frustrated with the process and instead of getting burnt out, you know, putting video after video up on your channel and not seeing the watch time or subscriber count that you want to see right now. The first thing that you can do to get started today making money with a small audience is signing up for Amazon Associates. So anything that you use in the background of your videos, something that you talk about, even the equipment that you film on, you can choose to get that affiliate link and put it below your videos. So that even if you get 50 views, if one person buys your camera on Amazon and they buy things throughout that 20, I think, hour period, you will get a small commission from those purchases. So definitely take ownership for the fact that you can make money right now. You're just choosing not to. 
Um, there are other things that you can do, like selling a even thirty dollar ebook pertaining to your niche, Merch. or even pitching yourself to Merch is the key. Affiliations like sponsorship with Walmart, Target, hell, they let you guys work from home and use their shit. So many things I know. Ask me questions, real questions, guys. Don't ask me this bullshit about can you be, uh, can I support your channel? I want you to ask me shit that real creators ask. Fuck the bullshit. You can get that shit off YouTube. I want you to tell, ask me shit like community strikes. God damn, I'm good at that. Don't you guys know that community strikes have changed again? COVID has changed again. Oh my God. Y'all lost. And I can tell y'all this, damn. I'm going to ask it though. Keywords are important, and here's how they can help you earn more views on YouTube. Hello, Tube Buddies. Today, we wanted to take a look at YouTube channel keywords. We want to look more specifically at how they can help you earn more views on YouTube. We're going to be using Tube Buddies Channelytics feature to not only see our own channel keywords, but also see the channel keywords of other YouTube channels. Let's get started by heading over to YouTube. I'm on the TubeBuddy YouTube channel, and as you can see, there is a tab called Channelytics right here. Go ahead and click on it, and you will see TubeBuddy's Channelytics. Where we want to focus is on this section here, Channel Keywords. This lets you know what channel keywords a creator is targeting. It also lets you copy these channel keywords. Copying channel keywords might make sense if you're looking up people that are in a similar niche as you and what they're targeting. In fact, how about I take a look at my friend and coworker Rob's channel? As we can see, Rob does have some channel keywords here, but there is more he could do. If Rob wanted to, he could edit these keywords by clicking on the TubeBuddy drop-down menu, selecting the dashboard, and then on the dashboard, clicking on the settings cogwheel in the bottom left-hand corner. Actually, where is Rob? Hmm. Let me go find him. How does he animate these TikTok dances look like so easy? It shouldn't be that hard. Hey, Rob. Rob? What are you doing? Hey, Andrew. Yeah, I'm just working on my TikTok. It's really, really fun. And I... Right. Well, I don't know a lot about TikTok, but I wanted to take this time to ask you about your YouTube channel keywords. Of course. Sure, Ben. What did you want to know? Well, I was curious how you came up with your YouTube channel keywords. And I also wanted to give you some help and advice on things I think you can do just to make them a little bit better. Sure. Let's go to my desktop. Channel keywords help to tell YouTube what your channel is about. It'll be easier for me to explain if I just take you into my channel. So let's go. Here's a quick look at the keywords on my channel. All right, there's a couple of places that I look at when I come up with keywords. One place is on your own YouTube channel. And then I also look at what people are searching for when it comes to a term. And I use that to discover keywords that you should use. So let me show you both right now. First, Let's take a look at your YouTube analytics, Rob. All right, uh, since my channel's been around for a little while and I've uploaded a few videos, YouTube has enough data, right? Right, it doesn't really matter when you start. Whether it's you, Rob, or you watching, YouTube will have some data if you've uploaded a video. All right, so I'll start to lean on that data to improve the channel keywords that I'm using. Let's go to your analytics using TubeBuddy. To isolate the data to the last 90 days, once in analytics, go to the reach tab here. Scroll down to the traffic source. We'll look at YouTube search. And here it shows me the top five search terms that you're showing up on in search to drive viewers to your channel and videos, helping you earn more views. It also tells me that search makes up a large percent of all the traffic on your channel. That's awesome to see. I like it when YouTube does that work for me to find new viewers and subscribers. Right. I recommend from here, click on see more to get the full list of keywords that are driving YouTube search traffic to your channel. Hey, Andrew, I noticed that eight out of the top 10 search terms on my channel 